Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today's vlog is about Seoul, South Korea. I'm finally back after three years and I'm so excited to take you with me on this trip. I hope you will like this vlog and will find it interesting. By the way guys, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Do subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it and follow me on my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account, black and gold style. Today is our first day after so many years and I'm so excited to explore the place. The temperature is a bit cooler. It's about 15 degrees right now and in Singapore we usually have about 32 degrees which is quite different but as long as you have a jacket you will feel very comfortable. This is actually a famous place. It's a public recreational space and we are at Don de Moon at the moment. It's about 10.9 kilometers. It was built in 2005 and this is Marriott Hotel. There is also subway here. We actually took a subway before and it was very convenient. It's so easy to use it and it's great during the peak hours because you can be stuck in the traffic for a really long time. And here is another landmark just across the hotel, which is so cool. It is actually one of the eight gates. This place historically housed essential government facilities and it was actually built in 1393. We are about to get dinner. I ordered mackerel, my husband ordered the same. And these are side dishes that come with our food. Kimchi, which is a fermented cabbage. It's a bit spicy. There is some tofu, bean sprouts, some other vegetables and some seaweed for the rice as well. We are drinking some tea. In Korea, all the food comes with some sort of side dishes, at least with kimchi. And of course, we're gonna have some desserts. There are so many coffee shops and so many dessert places. I think this one is quite popular. I see so many pictures and videos of the desserts on Instagram. I ordered all great tiramisu and we also got a cake with some profiteroles. It looks delicious. Today is the next day and we spent entire day shopping and I also uploaded another shopping vlog which I'll link down for you guys in case you want to check it out. And here we are going to check out some local stores. I'm curious to see some local brands. I'm actually a huge fan. In the past I bought so many beautiful and unique clothes from South Korea. And of course there are amazing beauty products. By the way, I see a lot of people streaming live. They are advertising some products and I think they are buying them in bulk, which is quite interesting. And lots of people buy clothes like that. These shopping centers are duty free and some of them are actually wholesale. Actually, Duta is quite easy. They sell as many items as you want to, but some of these shopping centers only sell in big quantities wholesale. But the working hours of those are different. So for example, this one, I believe it stays open until 11, if I'm not mistaken. But some of them only open at 8 p.m. And I think they work until 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. or something like that. Basically the whole night. See all these bags on the floor? So they are all for the wholesale purchases. So many of these and literally every single store has so many of these bags. And all of these stores are local designers. Today is a new day and we are going to explore the city. We're gonna go to a new place that we haven't seen before. Actually, before the pandemic, we used to travel to Seoul at least once a year. We saw quite a lot of the city, but I feel like there is so much more to see. We arrived at Bukchon Hanuk village and this village was built 600 years ago and it still remains beautiful now. It's located in the center of Seoul, which is amazing. It's so fantastic that they preserved it. 
by the way the tourists can rent the traditional dresses and walk around the village to take photos i think it's a cool idea i think if i traveled with my mom my sister or my girlfriend we could totally do that it would be so much fun just look at these gorgeous designs 600 years old it's just amazing so did an incredible job to preserve this by the way it's free of charge to come here and you don't have to book anything i believe they are open until five o'clock if i'm not mistaken and most of touristy attractions are opened until about five o'clock this village was where Joseon dynasty officials and wealthy nobility lived hundreds of years ago about 900 houses with Hanuk architecture still retain the pristine Asian beauty, despite of the changing times right in the middle of the city. I'm also gonna go inside of one of these buildings and show to you how they look. By the way, some people are still living here. We saw the signs about not disturbing local residents, being quiet. Also, several people were walking with a sign and asking everyone to be quiet it's actually quite steep you have to wear comfortable shoes when walking there was an exhibition it's also free of charge which is quite surprising and everything here is made of paper it's made of duck paper which is a korean traditional paper made from korean mulberry trees named duck namu namu means tree the texture of this paper is soft, but yet it's quite firm. I was told it takes three to four months to produce one small doll. I bet this ones took much longer to produce because they're quite big in size and the designs are quite complicated. These items are also made of paper, which is quite interesting. These designs are quite beautiful and unique although it would be a bit hard to transport them to another country except maybe the small ones like this ones they're so cute i want to show you inside of the traditional house look at these chairs hanuk a traditional korean house had an ondol which is a floor-based heating system by sitting or laying down on the floor a person could feel the warmth of the heating and this is especially nice during the cold weather and here is the window view it's just basically the rooftop and a few of the buildings today is such a lovely day the weather is just perfect it's not too hot and not too cold it's just ideal there are lots of cafes in this area you can have some tea and have some desserts they also have some food you can have lunch or have some fruits we had some dinner and we are on the way to the hotel we decided to take a walk and enjoy the weather it's getting cooler by the way this is one of the stores that allows to rent these dresses just like how we saw two girls I have to say it's quite easy to get around the city and we are not even using the map. I wish we had more days here. I feel like I have so many more things to see even though I visited so many times. Seoul is one of the cool cities that always has so many amazing things to offer. The only thing I have to note, if you are pescatarian or vegetarian, I would recommend to do a research in advance because it's not easy to find the places to eat. I think especially for vegetarians, it would be a bit difficult unless you want to end up eating the same thing every day. I think a lot depends on the area where you stay. It was rather easy in Yeondon, but a bit more difficult in Dondomun because all the restaurants that I used to know closed down. By the way, this is my absolutely favorite ice cream. It's called Double Bianca. The top one is made of strawberry and vanilla, and the bottom has apple ice cream. It's so tasty. I used to eat it at least two times a week when I was a kid. Such amazing desserts at Paris Baguette. I don't think we have the same stuff in Singapore. 
They're a lot different, but I love their desserts. They are so delicious and their ice cream is amazing as well. We are passing by another landmark, which is called DDP or Don the Moon Design Plaza. This building was built by British Iraqi architect Zaha Hadid. Many exhibitions, fashion events, various international and domestic forums are hosted here as well, which is so cool. And here are loads of shopping centers. I used to visit every single one of them, but some of them are closed for renovations. Anyways, guys, this is it. I hope that you liked this video and found it interesting. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Do subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And follow me on my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account, Black and Gold Style. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!